Now, we've had the most click stories on Sky News. Now the story's moving up across the internet. My guest tonight is Oliver Mann from the Answer Me This podcast. Good to see Hi you, Oliver. All right. uh, now, cop this, a new rating system on the net for US policemen. Right? Yeah, this is brilliant. So if you're pulled over in this country and the policeman's a little bit rude or patronizing, what do you do? Well, you can write a letter to the high authorities that be, I suppose, there's not much else you can do in America. You can go to ratemycop.com. Uh, which is unbelievably an online database of 130,000 coppers in America, and you can rate them uh, according to authority, fairness, and satisfaction. Right. I don't know quite how you get satisfaction. Do they from get the a policeman. prize at the end of this? <laughs> Who knows? I understand they're building the eighth wonder of the world in Germany. What's this? This is brilliant, isn't it? Everyone wonders, you know, what's going to happen to my body after I die? Where am I going to be buried? Well, perhaps you'd like to be encased in concrete in a pyramid in Germany. Um, personally, not for me. Um, but uh, there's a fee to be encased in concrete in Germany. <laughs> well, 800 people have so far signed up and paid 535 pounds uh, to uh, have their their ashes or their remembrances um, put into a concrete block, and from those blocks they're going to build this enormous pyramid. The idea is it's kind of like a social networking community, ridiculously. Uh, everyone who signed up, you can see their blog. So you can find out if you're going to like the same film as the person you're buried next to for all eternity. That's nice, isn't it? OK, this sounds like a gag. What do you get if you cross a cow with a whale? Oh, dear, sounds like a gag, doesn't it? But actually, it's all to do with the whaling in Japan. I mean, obviously, green issues are a huge thing on the internet. And um, all the green bloggers have been going crazy because this Australian scientist says uh, that um, they've looked through the 43 uh, research papers that Japan has published as a result of its whaling, obviously controversial whaling, uh, and that some of the science involved is kind of less than kosher. One of the experiments involved putting some sperm uh, from a whale into a cow egg uh, to see what would happen. And obviously a lot of the um, green community have been saying, well, Hold on. That's Did anything happen? <laughs> Don't tell us. OK. <laughs> the meteorite that landed in Peru in September. Now, this has baffled scientists. Why are they baffled? Yeah. Uh, well, this is uh, the Lunar and Planetary Science Conference has been going on in Texas, of course. Don't know why we didn't get tickets. Why are we here? <laughs> what are we missing? Um, and there they've been discussing um, this thing that hit near Lake Titicaca last year. This, what they're calling a streamlined meteorite hit. And it caused a crater that was 49 feet wide. Uh, now, the stats they've released at the conference, finally, have now said that that therefore means it was travelling at 50 times faster than any meteorite has ever travelled, as far as science is aware. So this is big news for the geeks out there. OK. Iraq, I wouldn't say renowned for ballet. Maybe I'm wrong. It's not the word that immediately pops into your mind. It isn't. Um, but I think that's why this has been a bit of a hit on YouTube today. And um, people have been forwarding around this video, bizarrely, of the Baghdad Music and Ballet School. It's actually quite a sweet thing. This all came out of a Wall Street Journal article, which was explaining how, in the last few decades, you know, despite everything that's happened, they had teachers under the Iron Curtain. Saddam let the school carry on because it was secular. Uh, and now, even despite the opposition from Shiites and Sunnis about, you know, all the problems with ballet, like displaying flesh and playing music, uh, they're still carrying on, and they have an intake, and they have students, and they have performances, and people are watching the Baghdad Music and Ballet School. Good stuff. Thanks for that roundup. Oliver Mann from Answer Me This podcast. We wish Good you all the best.